Okay, when you're ready to start adding images, there are several ways that you can do so. The first one I'm gonna show you is to go into the elements area, and this is where you can see all kinds of different, like here's photos, you can add videos if you're doing a presentation, but this is a printed poster, so that doesn't make sense. You can do basic elements and shapes, which I'm gonna show in another, another tutorial video, but for right now, I wanna choose the photos. And these photos are coming from websites like unsplash.com, I'll show you that real quick. Pixels or pexels.com, P E X E L S.com, or pixabay.com. These are all photos that you are welcome to use. They are copyright free. So if I wanted to use one of these photos, I can search for plant. And then if I find one, Unsplash Plus means that you can't download it without having a subscription, but this one I could. So I can click this arrow to download, and then I can upload it into my design, which I will show you in just a second. Where's my design? Okay. But we also have a bunch of photos that it pulls in from those websites here. So I can come in here and choose plants. So there's a couple things you need to know about these photos. One, if you click, it's just gonna pop it into the page and then you can use the resize corners to resize it down and then click and drag to place it where you want it to go. If you would like to crop a photo, like I want it to fit more in this frame, then I can grab these little uh, side handles and drag it up that way. What it's doing there is it's actually cropping the photo, so we're missing some of the edges of the photo, which you can see I double click to get in there and see and rearrange which part of the photo I want to see. So let's say I want that part of the photo. So I can double click to get out. So again, this is going to crop your photo and you can use it to re-bring it back. All right, the other type of photo that you're gonna see is, let's do house plant right here, house plant. Some of these photos are actually um, transparent in their background. So you can see this one has a background, but these ones are showing the gray of the Canva interface. These are all images that you can add except for, see that they all have a pro icon. That means you can't use them unless you have a pro Canva account. So I'm gonna go back and just search for plant and see what I can get if I have a transparent, yes. So this is a transparent photo that I can pop onto the page and you can see it doesn't have that square background. It's already isolated. So I think this is a pretty good photo to add up here next to my project name. And I like that it hangs down into here. And the reason why I add photos first is because then you can change all the colors of your document to synchronize with the photo. And what I mean by this is, let's say this blue bar right here, it's just naturally blue to match with the logo that we have on here, but I think all the colors of my project should be more natural to fit in with plants. So I'm gonna come over here, and you can see that the photos that are in here, it's sampling colors from them. So I can choose to make that brown, maybe I want this a lighter brown, maybe I want this one a green. So I'm gonna come through and just start changing all of these things so that they look a little bit more coordinated. So same thing here, I can change all of these and make them look a little bit more coordinated. So that's a benefit of bringing photos in is that you can get those sampled colors and it's gonna look all cohesive. Now the other way that you can bring photos in is you can go to uploads and choose to upload a file yourself so I'm gonna to go to the desktop, and this photo doesn't make any sense with this project, but just go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that photo. And now to get that onto the screen, and let's say I want it here, I can click and drag to pop that in, but it's still not gonna pop it at the right size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put the corner here, and then I'm gonna drag that until it fits and get rid of that underlying shape. So I can move that up and just start moving things around and that doesn't have very good contrast and I probably need to put some lift so that it's easier to read that subheading on there. Okay, so then it's just a matter of maybe I wanna add some photos here, maybe some graphs here and we'll look at that in the next couple videos.